welcome to a Wizard101 update video, I guess, concerning my past video where I mentioned that I was banned and I didn't know why and I was so upset and I was crying and I was like, you know, so upset with King's Isle because, you know, they, they didn't tell me what happened and I thought this was totally unfair, da 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 da. If you guys haven't seen that video, um, then you probably have no idea uh, what happened. So, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of backstory on this. So, um, a while ago, I accepted some codes from somebody here on Twitter, um, and I thought they were legit codes, and I thought he was just being, you know, overly generous, and he was being amazing. Um, and so I accepted these codes, which happened to be crown codes and bundle codes, not thinking really anything of it, because um, I should have really, honestly, thought something of it, but I didn't. Um, and I accepted the codes and put them on my account, etc., not thinking anything of it. Um, and as soon as the guy p started posting, like, a million codes on his own Twitter page was when I started to get, you know, a little iffy. I started thinking, oh my gosh, red flag, this has to be a joke, um, or this has to be hacked, or something has to be really bad with this guy. Um, so, um, right at that point, you know, I'm like, oh my god, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. So, this was about, I think in May, I believe. Um, and so I emailed King's Isle back then and was like, I don't know what's going on, I don't know if these codes are fake or not, da 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 Um, and they came back and they banned my account because I guess the codes were from a fraudulent credit card, which basically means this person took a credit card, um, stole it from somebody, and spent a whole bunch of money on the credit card, and then the original holder of the credit card was like, what? I didn't pay for any of this stuff. So then they went to their bank, which reversed the charges, so anybody that had these crowns or bundle items on their account, it basically looked like they were the ones that did the fraud. Um, so this happened all over Twitter. A ton of people got affected. Um, anybody that accepted the codes from him got you know affected and got their accounts um, banned. So anyway, so this has been going on for a while. I talked with King's Isle for a very long time. Um, back in May and the beginning of June, I believe. And, you know, we figured it all out. They eventually unbanned my account, said, you know, for me to give me another chance because it was it was really only the first time I've ever done anything bad on my account. It's the only time I've ever gotten banned from something. So, you know, back then I was really freaked out because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my account forever. This sucks. Um, so eventually, you know, I worked it out with them and they told me never to accept codes from strangers again. Um, I didn't. And then about two weeks after that, I had crowns left over from the trivia games that I uh, played where you get like 10 crowns for each trivia thing you complete and I had about 400 crowns from that and so I was on Pirate 101 and I was questing and I needed help with the henchman so I paid for a henchman um, that night I got banned again and I contacted King's Isle and explained everything said I just use these you know these crowns I got them from the trivia game. You know, I don't know why this is happening, but I got banned again. Can you help me? Um, and then they came back and said something like, well, we're sorry this happened, da 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 da. We gave you your account back. Everything's fine. If this ever happens again, contact us again. And, you know, at that point I thought, okay, well, this is totally over now. We're done. I'm not going to have any more issues with this. Um, and everything was going to be good. However, this past Friday, I tried to log on and my account was banned once again. Now, this is what really confused me about it, though. It was that the only crown codes I accepted were a week ago from this ban, and I accepted them from Paige Moonshade, who is actually a follower of mine on my Twitter, and we all know that she is a affiliate of King's Isle and Wizard101, their company. She runs a very... Um, famous, well not famous, but very popular website. And so everybody knows Paige. She's, you know, super generous. She never gives out any bad codes because they're technically King's Isle's codes because King's Isle gives her the codes to give to the Twitter people and her followers on her website. So she ended up DMing me up here um, two codes for 2,000 crowns each. And I thought, oh my gosh, she's so nice. I didn't ask for these. She just, you know, generously gifted them to me. So I'm like, awesome. So then I went and redeemed them. And then, you know, about a week later, I get banned, and I'm like, well, huh? Because I knew they was, these were legit, right? And so, um, yeah, so I got banned again, 
and that was when I made that video because I was super upset because I'm like, they they totally have a target on my account. This is so obvious. I mean, as soon as they see any code pop up onto my account, I'm screwed and I'm going to get banned again and going to have to wait days for them to get back to me. I guess really the only part that sucked was that I got banned on a Friday and it was kind of like in a late Friday I noticed it so they weren't even in their offices to check it out for me so technically I did have to wait like three more days through the weekend um, to find out you know what's going on with my account so anyway so I got a email back from them um, on here and they told me that they've unbanned the family of accounts under my account name and thanks for letting us know about the issue. Please let us know if you have any further issues. And I actually asked for a compensation because previously I was banned right three times. And I'm like, okay, well, I lost about two weeks of, you know, playtime, like, that I paid for because I have a yearly subscription. Um, so I lost about two weeks of playtime. Now, I wouldn't think anything of it. I would just say, oh, thank you for unbanning my account and let me go on and play. But, you know, deep down I'm like, well, you, this is a failure on your guys' systems part, so I feel like I deserve something in return. And normally I'm not like that, but I just felt like this was completely unnecessary for their system to go ban me when I've done absolutely nothing wrong. So, um, they also mentioned that they have extended my 12-month membership for one month um, for both Wizards and Pirates, because I both have a yearly long subscription, subscription to both of these games. So I was very, very pleased with that. Um, I then went back and messaged them again and asked them, because they didn't tell me why they banned me. There was no mention of why they banned me. And so um, I got an email back just recently, and it's a super duper long one. Um, so basically it's just explaining like um, what happened. So like this is telling me like he's summarizing what happened, you know, in their eyes or really what happened about the fraudulent credit card, etc. You guys can read this. I'm not going to read all of it to you. I'm just going to kind of summarize it. Um, so then they're, they basically explain, you know, what happened here and they apologize for the delay and getting the ban removed because, and then they also mention that, um, I am not trying to defraud anybody and they, that they, that they believe my intentions were not to defraud anyone, but that I received a gift, which seemed like a positive, but it turned out to be fraudulent, um, purchase of a different person. So my faith in King's Isle is kind of slowly coming back up again which is a good thing, I think. Um, and then they mentioned that, you know, they're apologizing and stuff, and then that there was um, a fair amount of time that they had to set aside in order to perform the research, which I thought was really interesting. So I guess they were researching um, all of these issues, or I thought was kind of strange, because, I mean, this happened back in May. They've had, like, what, two months to go over this? Or three months? Um, so I don't know why they're still researching. I guess these, they're saying they're still researching. Um... And then he sa or they said, as you had requested, we have provided you with lost time. You've asked for two weeks, and we've given one month, which I'm very happy about. I didn't expect that, um, so I'm very happy that they gave me a month, um, which I don't think they could have gave me two weeks anyway. I don't know. I don't even know how that was even possible. But I asked for two weeks because I didn't want to seem like a total, you know, trying to get money out of them type of thing. Um, then they started messaging or talking about my email issue because, like I said, I haven't been getting any email emails from them at all regarding my bans. And so I've noticed also when I try to change my email that it won't switch over. So I've emailed this ticket back and was like, can you help me with this? Because my emails won't turn over. Like it won't go from my, my older email to my newer email. I don't know why, because I'm not even getting the emails on my older email either. So it makes absolutely no sense. So I basically you know, emailed him back and was like, I need help with this because I don't know what to do. Because it's not working. Um, so then they say they sincerely apologize for the ban, and I can assure you that this is not personal. Um, I don't know where they got this from. I'm assuming maybe from you guys. Maybe you guys sent them emails or something and mentioned this, because I did actually mention this in my video, unless they watched my video. They could have totally watched my video. Um, and if they are, thank you guys very much for fixing this, hopefully fixing this. Um... And then they mentioned that they'll keep an eye on my account for the next week and try to address any concerns that I should have. Um, I honestly think they should probably keep an eye on it for a lot longer than a week because, like I said, this, um, I guess for the next week, I don't know what that means, like next week or this coming week, I have no idea. Um, but at least they're going to, like, look at it for a little bit. And then if I have any further questions, please reply directly to this ticket and accept their apology and let them know if I have any other questions. Um... 
So honestly, yes, I am very, very, very pleased with this email because I actually got through to a person. That is what, I guess, makes me more mad than anything about these, um, these email, the company type things, because it seems like you always get an automated message by a computer or a robot, and so I never actually get a real life person. And that's why I really wish there was a phone number, because I know when I call the phone, there's going to be a, um, you know, usually there is a real life person on the other end of the phone call. So that's why I like, you know, better calling them, being like explaining everything to them. Um, but I think, I'm pretty sure this email is by a real person, and they really, really apologize for everything that's been happening, because obviously they believe that my intentions were not to defraud anybody, which they weren't, um, and all you guys know that I wasn't trying to defraud anybody, like, I don't do that, I'm not that mean. Um, so anyway, everything is fine, I have my account back, um, and, oh yeah, and the issue's been escalated. So, I don't, I guess that means they're looking into it some more? I don't know. Um, and like I said, a couple other people, I think, got banned as well on Friday, which makes absolutely no sense. Um, so I'm assuming that's just, like, about this again? Which, like I said, I thought they were finished with this, but I guess they weren't. Um, so, anyways... Uh, I, I, I sort of want to disregard that last video because I, you know, well, I was upset, you know, when, when I get banned three times for something that I didn't intentionally mean to do and, well, I guess the first time I probably deserved to get banned because I was stupid, but they gave me another chance and then after that they banned me two more times for doing absolutely nothing. So I think that's what got me peeved the most was that they banned me for absolutely no reason. Like I didn't hack anybody. I didn't steal from anybody. I didn't you know, report somebody that they didn't deserve reported, like, it was, it was so stupid. So that's why I was so upset and I made that video. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm making this video, I guess, to show you guys that I do have both of my accounts back. I have my Pirate 101 and my Wizard 101 account back. Um, and I'm going to try and pump out Azteca videos, but, um, I can't promise anything at this point in time because we are getting super close to moving. Um, and I know I keep saying that, but we are, like, super close to moving. Like, we already got a realtor, and we're packing up, like, everything, and you can't see my room by right now, but I have, like, nothing in my room. Um, and, um, we're about to sell our house. So, um, usually when we sell this house, I can't be in it a lot, because there's usually people walking through and stuff and looking at it, so I won't be able to go on the computer and record stuff. Um, but I'm gonna try to, um... And then also, our other house that we're moving into is sort of almost done. It's at the flooring stage, and the, um, sort of got all the cabinets and stuff in it. And then we just gotta do flooring, and, uh, fireplace, and, I don't know, stuff like that. So that's almost done, too. So, right now is kind of like a crunch time for me, so it's, it's really kind of hard for me to, um, do videos at all, really, because um, I still need to be packing, I need to help my mom, because my dad's always at work, and my sister's not here to help, and then I gotta help my mom pack everything, and she's, like, super stressed out with all of this, because we gotta get all this stuff out in, like, a week, and we gotta put our house on the market in, like, two weeks, so it's, it's really crazy, so I can't, I don't want to promise you guys any videos, um, because, like I said, it's, it's crazy right now, like, it's crazy, it's, like, 99 degrees out right now, and it's super, super hot, and I'm surprised my computer is even running right now, because this room is, like, a sauna, um, but yeah, anyway, I just want to let you guys know about, uh, this account issue, because I did actually mention that I would, um, make another video responding, basically, to their video, you know, telling you guys everything's okay, um, I'm okay, my account's okay, I'm glad that King's Isle is trying to make an effort and help me because, I mean, like I said, I've been getting robot emails from them saying like, oh, we just unbanned your account and there was like no summary of anything, um, that, you know, happened and it, it was just, it was all confusing and crazy and I didn't like it. Um, but everything's okay now, hopefully. I mean, I'm not gonna say that because, like I said, I still have a feeling that my account is still sort of on lockdown right now, so... I'm still scared to accept anything, um, I'm probably not going to accept anything, so, um, until then, I'm probably going to be crownless for a while until I figure all this stuff out, because I'm still going to go back with this person and try and figure everything out, so, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on this, and hopefully you guys are all doing well, and I know a lot of you guys are going back to school, too, so, good luck in school, and life, and your jobs, and stuff, 
And uh, I'll hopefully be back with another video soon. I hope you guys liked my vlog video of the Pigs Peace Sanctuary, which was, oh my gosh, so fun. I got to pet pigs and hold pigs and feed pigs apples and carrots and watch them run around. It was fun. It was really fun. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.